What's up guys, welcome back to the Mastery Podcast. I hope you're doing well. Now in today's episode, I wanna to talk to you about the importance of knowing your numbers in business. I know, please bear with me today. If I mention ever finances, numbers and figures, every fitness professional runs a mile because you never wanna look the devil in the eye. My father, my late father, he would always talk to me about knowing my numbers, not just my profit and loss. He would talk to me about understanding the importance of gathering data within your business because what you don't measure, you can't manage. And if you don't see the value in what it takes to make more money, and I'm gonna be honest with you, you don't value money. This might hit you pretty hard, genuinely. If I put five coaches in a room, 10 coaches in a room, and have five on one side, five on the other, and I looked at the five that measured their finances and their numbers within their business versus the numbers that, of coaches that don't, I would guarantee that the people that are obsessive about their numbers make more money, make more impact, and have more clients than the people that don't. If you value things in life, you will grow. If you value your training and you value your numbers in the gym and you value the weights that you lift and you value the food that you eat and you value the process and the data that you need to have to be able to reach an end goal, you always improve. You have a better body. You have a better muscle shape. You have better strength, better conditioning, better fitness. Now, right now for me, it's very, very important to be fit. So I'm tracking the data of the rowing that I do, the stroke rate that I do for 20, meter, 20 minute row, the average per 500 that I do for 500 meters. And that data enables me to improve because the more data I collect, the more information and feedback I have as to whether or not I'm actually gonna get closer and closer to the goal that I have. And I'll tell you right now, I need an average of 145 per 500 meters across 10 rows to know that I'm improving relative to what I did over a year ago. And at the moment, I'm about four intervals away from that because it's hard. So I've now got a market towards where I'm gonna get my fitness back to when I was feeling the best ever. So if you tell me that you wanna make more money but you're not measuring any level of data, then you just don't value money. It's simple. So quick question for you. What are 25 reasons why it's important to track your data relative to the revenue that you want to make. And relative to the revenue you want to make, what is the value of you to you of earning more money? And if you sit there and go, I just want to make more money, then you don't value it. You don't have any true, true value and meaning to wanting to reach a goal. Because if you did, you would have a strategic plan of what do I need? So the importance of measuring your numbers gives you something to work towards. And I'm gonna reverse engineer something for you pretty simply. If you want to increase your turnover per month by 2,000 and you charge 200 a month, then you basically need 10 clients. To get 10 clients in a month, you need to sign up two to three people per week, okay? So if you do two, Across four weeks, it's eight, two to three, you'll hit your quota of 10. If you then look at that 10 and go, well, how many phone calls or sales consultations or Zoom calls do I need to do to be able to get 10 new signups across a month? So let's break this down to two calls you have, two sales you have to make a week. At the moment, Mark, I'm closing around about 30, 40% of my sales calls. Okay, cool. So two that you need to close. If you did 50% more, that's four. And if you're closing less, you probably need to do five calls to get two clients. Yeah, that's normally where I'd need to be. You know, it'd be 80 to 90, 80 odd percent if you did three calls and got two clients. But in this case, you'd have to do five calls. So how many people actually apply for your coaching service organically every single week? Well, generally I get one, application on a week-to-week -week basis how many of those applications always turn into a call mm, not always so now i've got to go out there and generate myself five calls 
Yeah. So how many people do I actually need to speak to? Like if you're on the gym floor as a personal trainer, you've got to go up to speak to X amount of people to guarantee call bookings. Yeah, but I don't do that. Sometimes I get, sometimes I don't. So you have an inconsistent business. So online coaching, I say, well, one of the best ways to be able to generate business, to be able to start conversations, whether that's in DMs, on email or wherever. So now I need to generate X amount of calls to get five, I've got to generate X amount of conversations to have five booked calls to get two sales. Well, if I speak to 20 people a week, generally I can get five booked calls. Right, so we've got 20 conversations, five booked calls, two sales. Yes. So what do we got to do to get those 20 conversations? Ah, uh, well, that's where I struggle. Cool. So now we start looking at our numbers. Every single week, we have to have 20 conversations. Of those 20 conversations, I normally get five calls. Well, from that 20 conversations, how many proposals, i.e. how many people do you say, would you want to work with me? Or give the person the opportunity to get on a call with you to discuss the coaching service. And you say, you're a perfect fit for my coaching service, perfect fit for my coaching program. It'd be great to jump on a call and explain to you exactly how I work. So out of 20 conversations, you say that to eight, nine people. Of nine people, you end up getting five calls booked. And from five calls booked, you end up getting two sales. And now you're listening to this thinking, Mark, this is way too complicated to me. This is way over the top. And I'm like, yeah, but you can guarantee business coming in if now you know you have 20 conversations. So now we have to go out there and say, how do we generate conversations? Well, we need to do X amount of polls every single week. We need to send X amount of DMs. We need to create this amount of content. Because I will tell you this, a business that generates consistent revenue is constantly measuring their data, is constantly looking at the amount of conversations, proposal, book calls, sales calls, and new client signups. If you are not thinking at the beginning of the week, how many calls do I need to make? How many people do I need to speak to? What marketing channels need to, do we need to be on? How many sales calls do I need to do? Then you cannot guarantee the outcome of your business at the end of every single month, knowing what revenue you're bringing in. So this comes back to what you value. If you value your training more than you value making money and growing a business, then what are you gonna do? You're gonna have more data around your training, your nutrition, your sleep, your rest, your recovery, your aura ring, and all the other stuff that you measure and have a great body and have a great physique or very, very fit, whatever you may be focusing on, but the outcome is a result of what you're measuring. And then you have a business that you want and a quantity of clients that you want and an amount of resi results that you want, but nothing is measured. So here's my advice to you today. If you want a successful business, if you wanna make more money, if you wanna help more people, if you wanna get great results, it starts with tracking your data. It starts understanding and reverse engineering where you, from where you wanna be, what needs to happen to get that done. So my advice to you today is get on top of your numbers. And if you are unsure what to do, if you want any help to be able to build a better business, if you want more help to be able to get more clients, get better results, build a brand, be more successful, make more money, then all you need to do is reach out to me. Now you can, as you're on, maybe on YouTube right now, you can go straight to the comments, click any of the links. You can go on Instagram, send me a DM, click on any of the links. But for now, if you are on YouTube right now, click like, click subscribe. Let's help more people to find the channel. If you're listening on iTunes, thank you as always. You can send me a DM, you can reach out to me on my Instagram page. But for now, take care and I'll speak to you soon.